So let's think back to our example we had in the last video. So let's say we were interested in how wage rates varied between, let's say, male and female people. So the idea is that we regress wage on, let's say now that we sort of implicitly assuming that we have all these other variables, so I'm not gonna include them explicitly, we're just gonna have alpha plus, let's say beta one times the number of years of education plus beta two times our sort of sex variable, where our sex variable takes on the value of one if the individual is a female, and it takes on a value of naught if the individual is a male. But then we included a further term, which was, let's say, beta three, where we multiplied sex times education. So the idea is that we have collected all these variables across our individual, all our individuals I in the population, or in our sample rather, and we have, included a multiplicative term in our regression specification. So what does this multiplicative term mean? What, how do we interpret this beta three? Well, let's think about again, what this sort of average wage rate would be for a female and compare it with the average wage rate for a male. So the average wage rate for a female, if they had a given number of years of education would be alpha plus beta one times the number of years of education, which they had plus, well, this sex variable now takes on the value of one, so I've just got plus beta two. And now our sex variable here is taking on a value of one as well, so I've got plus beta three times the number of years of education. Okay, and then we can sort of simplify this. If we sort of notice that our alpha and our beta two are both constants here, so writing those both at the start of the model, we get sort of alpha plus beta two, let's say, and then we recognize that we have essentially got two education terms. We've got this one and this one. So I can simplify these as well by writing them or by combining them. I just get beta one plus beta three times the number of years of education. Okay, so that's for the female case. What do we have for the male? So the idea for the sort of males in our sample is that the average wage rate is given by alpha plus beta one times the number of years of education because our sex variable takes on a value of zero. So these sort of second two terms actually cancel or don't, don't exist for the male. So now we can think about what the effect of our sex variable has been on our sort of specification and our interpretation. So what does beta two represent here? Well, beta two represents the additional premium which females would have over males if they had zero years worth of education. Because if they had zero years worth of education, then both of these two terms would disappear, and the only difference between males and females would in fact actually, would in fact actually be our beta two. So just like we proved in the last video, that is actually the wage premium which females exert over males in the case in this case of having zero years worth of education. Okay, so what does beta three represent? Well, notice that the only difference between these two specifications in terms of the education variable is that essentially the partial effect of education for females has been boosted by an amount beta three relative to the males. So what does that mean? Well, if beta three was greater than zero, it means that the additional effect of one more year of education for females was in fact greater than that for males. If it was less than zero, then it would be the other way around. So the additional effect of having one more year of education on average would tend to cause a smaller increase in female wage than it would do for males. So we can sort of think about what these cross terms mean in our regression specification. Well, essentially what they mean is if I'm interacting a dummy variable with a continuous variable is that it allows us to have different slopes of that particular continuous variable across the two different values which our dummy variable can take on. So, and that's quite a sort of an appropriate assumption to make in a whole host of different situations. In this particular situation, it kind of, you might suppose that there might be an, a different effect of education uh, between males and females, but there are a whole host of other ways in which this could be true across other sorts of types of model.